Mom's new spaghetti. Apparently, it's chicken out in the interior. How do you like this interior? Good morning guys, we're back for another review. Uh, I mean, we're back for another vlog. So today we are sitting inside the brand new Lexus LX570 that I uh, recently bought for Annie. Most of you have already knew that uh, my wife is pregnant with another child. Yeah. So we're gonna have another baby coming. So we definitely need this uh, SUV here that will hold up to eight passengers. So you have enough room for about two or three more babies uh -huh. if you need. <laughs> no way. If you guys haven't watched the last vlog, she was crying her butt off when uh, she found out that she was pregnant. But yeah. uh, we received a lot of comments, positive comments, good feedback, and uh, it did really comfort us uh, a little better. You know, we did feel a little better after reading all the uh, positive comments. Thank you, you guys. Love you. So Annie is really enjoying her new Lexus. I know because I can tell by the way she uh, look at things and just by her reaction. And I do have a uh, video that uh, we record during the uh, picking up process. And uh, I will make a vlog on that and post it on my vlog channel really soon. So right now we are just testing out the SUV for the first time. I mean, we're really excited. It's really smooth. It's a very smooth ride compared to other vehicles that we've uh, been in. It is so smooth that uh, it feels like you're driving on space or on some kind of airbags or something. You know, it's, you, you can't really hear any bumps on the road. Versus my uh, BMW M6 and my uh, past Lexus or my past uh, Mercedes SUV. This is totally different. But I do miss the performance and stuff that uh, those German cars offer though. But this here for smooth and family quality, this is the best of the best. I guarantee you that. So how you feel about your new car? Your new SUV? I like it, but I didn't expect him to buy me anything because it's too expensive. You like it better, a lot better than the, uh, the van, huh? Uh, uh, yeah, but I would drive this every day because the kids they're always making a mess in the car so yeah but to be honest I'm like more comfortable driving the van more you know because it's light it's light and it doesn't cost a lot so like I can drive really bad um, you know more not not bad but I mean more aggressive on the road more rough yeah versus this one I have yeah I don't know for some reason this thing feel a little heavy and Maybe it's not breaking yet. That's why it feels that way. Maybe we're not but, uh, used to it. Yeah, maybe I'm not used to it. But I mean, there is power on this vehicle. And I mean, I have tried to put this in sport mode, sport plus before, and it does move. It has almost uh, 400 horsepower. Uh, so yeah. that's plenty of horsepower. And the van, it only takes about $30 to get the full tank of gas. So it's better for me to drive the kids around for, you know, to school and tutor and other extra activity during school days. Yeah, so this is mostly her uh, weekend vehicle on, you know, sometimes she needs to go somewhere like a uh, hospital out. visit, doctor appointment going out or, you know, birthday party, weddings and stuff like that. We check this one out. But mostly on her daily activity, she takes the van most of the time to pick up the kids and drop them off at school. Cause that's uh yeah, cause the kids, man, I don't know, have you seen the van yet? But uh, the van look like a uh, dumpster right now. <laughs> they eat, they trash, they eat, they trash. They never put anything in the trash can, and we tell them so many times already to you know to put it up or throw it in the trash can to be organized. But then it seems like it doesn't work. If you guys have any trick to make that work or to make them throw everything that they eat and everything, you know, take care of their trash and more clean and stuff like that, let us know in the comment below because we are struggling with them keeping stuff clean. And we are scared to bring them up here, but I mean, we gotta take them up here anyway. It's just a car anyway. But I mean, it's big, so when cleaning up, it's gonna be a big, big big problem for us it's gonna take like at least an hour or two every time we clean the van it's like three hours to keep that thing clean it's my car but you're gonna clean it <laughs> that's always that's he, always how it goes no he never cleaned the van I have to do it like during what you the talking about? yes during the hot days I have to go clean and take care of everything by myself and it's so freaking hot outside 
I'm like sometimes sweating. when I have time, I'll clean for her, but uh, you know, most of the time I'm busy making money. So you gotta clean it. You should have seen his car. He cleaned his car all the time. Just well, the reason why the my the reason why my car is clean is because I drive it by myself. It's never gonna get messy because I'm the only one. And every time I take the kid into my car and just drive it, you know, one trip. When we get home, it's like the floor dirty, seats dirty, all kind of mark on the seat and stuff. Kids are really, you know, it's just hard kids. to keep up with. Kids just being kids. So. Yeah. I am really enjoying her vehicle since uh, ever since we bring this thing home she never drive it yet I mean I'm the only one that been uh, driving and taking her around isn't that weird I, I'm, I'm kind of scared I'm scared of driving this it's a pretty easy vehicle to operate no not that I'm just scared like you know something might happen when I drive it just act like you're in a van because my van you know you see all the crazy uh, accident I got into um, yeah, she had a uh, bad year last year. She had yes. into uh, three, three accidents three accident. last year, and none of them was her fault. Yeah. So I think she kind of get that, you know, that feeling that I don't know. She kind of scared of something driving on the road. I know. My doctor told me to be safe, drive safe, watch out. But you know, there's nothing I can do. If if people, you know, there's reckless driver out there, so. I can't help it if they just wanna. Hey, I was wondering if you guys want to watch uh, Annie drive my M6, you know, in a uh, kind of like a uh, aggressive style and see how she reacts and stuff like that. You know, just put it into sport mode and just press that gas pedal and see how it jug and push her back to the seat. Y'all want to see that? If you do, let let me know. No, you never drive it and. Oh, me driving. Yeah, record your reaction and stuff. That'd be fun. For the wife, uh, 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 for the wife to drive a more powerful car. I'm pregnant and, right now. You know, Is that even safe? <laughs> Just in case I'm bumping around. We're gonna do this in a safety environment. We're not gonna do this in like a, in a crazy way, like you think. Where are you going? So if you want to watch her. Just trying out my M6 and to see what uh, how she react, you know. Let yeah. us know. If you comment wanna... below if there's a lot of comment, it might happen. <laughs> and I'll be on the uh, back seat driver. I'll be the back seat driver telling her what to do. Cause that's 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 what she always does when I drive. Freaking scare me and stuff. Like when there's nothing happening, she's like putting her feet on the dash and stuff like that, <laughs> making me even nervous. You know how that feels? <laughs> Oh I don't know if ever any one of you guys have wife that when you drive she like pushing on the dash and putting her feet on the dash and oh my gosh you know it's crazy it's just when you have kids you gotta be safe you know I, I just don't want to drive crazy or fast I don't like fast car at all I'm not even driving fast and sometimes you do that I think that's why we Annoying. marry each other because you know we're totally opposite <laughs> it's like sometimes I can't even stand her Trust me, I can't stand him either. Hey, Kaylin. What are you playing in the back? How do you like the new uh, SUV? A lot. A lot what? You like it a lot? How about Natalie? Natalie enjoying it. They was enjoying the big screen TV in the back here the other day. They watched a whole movie. One time we went uh, get Starbucks and, you know, some snacks and stuff like that. And they enjoy the whole movie. They make us drive around just so they can finish the movie in this new SUV. They don't want to come home and watch it, even though we have DVD and Blu-ray at home. It's just they, I think they want they want to try out the new feeling or something. Just trying out the new DVD system. Yeah, and I was surprised how clear it is. The quality is really clear. I don't even know how it looked like yet. <laughs> hey guys, so uh, I just purchased this new car. And this new mansion here for my wife. How y'all like that? Just purchased this thing like uh, last week. We can't wait to move into this house. When you want to get off the darkest ground, the gravity pulls you straight down.